In this short presentation, you're going to be introduced to two very important vocabulary words that we still use today in the field of ESL. They originated with Gordon Pask's conversation theory of second language acquisition. The first one is negotiation of meaning. This term means that both conversation partners must participate to the best of their abilities to keep the conversation going. They need to understand what they are talking about and they need to make the conversation grow and continue just as native speakers would. The other important word I want you to understand is scaffolding, which means that one conversation partner helps the other conversation partner build the conversation. In other words, the higher proficiency level speaker helps the lower proficiency level speaker to keep the conversation going. They work together to not let the conversation die out because of a lack of language skills. This is done by the higher proficiency level speaker rephrasing what was said or asking questions. The following is an example of a scaffolded conversation. Notice that the lower proficiency ELL speaker, the ELL child, is negotiating meaning with the higher proficiency level speaker, the native English speaking adult. The ELL is trying to ask his teacher for help to fix a toy. Hi, Takahiro. Broken? Broken. This is broken. Broken. Mmm, no, no. Upside down. Upside, Upside down. down. Yeah. This is broken. Upside down. Upside down. Upside down. Upside down. Upside down. Upside down. Yeah, upside down. Very good. <laughs>